I, I'm pretty, I, I'd say I'm 80 to 90% confident that we will reach orbit with Starship next year. Um, uh, I think probably 50 or 60, 50% confident that we'll be able to bring the ship and booster back. That's like, that's more of a dicey situation. Um, we'll, we'll probably lose a few ships before we, we really get the atmospheric return and landing right. Uh, we might lose, hopefully we don't lose it. Uh, hopefully we don't lose any boosters because that's a lot of engines. Um, our initial booster flights will just have maybe two to four engines, um, not 28. <laughs> 28 is a lot of engines. So um, yeah, and then I think we'll probably be in um, do it doing high volume flights, I think probably in 2022, so a couple years from now. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to make sure that, that our rate of innovation increases, it does not decrease. Um, it, this is really essential. Uh, it, in fact, if we do not see something close to an exponential improvement in our rate of innovation, we will not reach Mars. Like a pure linear doesn't get there. Not, not well, I'll be dead anyway before it gets there if it's pure linear. If it's exponential, I think we could get to Mars. We could, we could probably send an uncrewed mission there in maybe four years. Um, you know, there's a Mars conjunction every 26 months. There's one this year, so that means in a couple of years from now, there's another one. And then four years from now, there's another one. I, I, I think we've got a fighting chance of, of making the that second uh, Mars transfer window. Um, 